Uh, hey, my name is Peter, and uh, I do cool stuff just, <laughs> just all the time. I like open up this package and see what's inside of it. That's pretty cool. I think it is. It's a roughly tablet sized package. I have a pen here. Let's see what's inside. I can make art on this. It's like a really nice piece of little particle board. Corners chipped, but. Mustache is like tickling like my nose again. This looks really nice. I noticed right off the bat that this new tablet looked remarkably similar to the other tablet I recently reviewed. In fact, it had the same model number and name, the UG2150. But no matter, what's better than one tablet? if not two tablets. The first thing I did was plug it in in the back with the monitor cable. You can use several different types depending on what you're into and what your computer requires. And then I got out the little stylus it came with and opened up Photoshop, which is my program of choice for drawing on these, these, these tablet things, screen tablets, and uh, started messing around with it a little bit. These tablets can somehow tell how hard you're pressing on the screen. I don't know if it's through the pen or through the screen, maybe a combination of both, but in some ways it simulates some aspects of physical drawing and mixes them together with digital art, which is um, a cool thing in a lot of ways. It's got pressure sensitivity, so you can draw lighter lines and heavier, thicker lines, depending on how hard you press on the screen, and it's fun to just scribble away, but after messing around a little bit, I started an actual little drawing. I didn't know what it was going to be at first, but I just kept on adding little... I think I used another pencil. Pencil brush. I like the pencil brushes when I draw for some reason. It like You can get a nice little sketchy effect. And I used a, a, a black brush and a white brush, and I just kept switching back and forth between them. And uh, just scribbling away, doing little swirls and... Sw mostly just lots of swirls. And just, just for... really, just for hours and hours. I was drawing lots of swirls, and I guess <laughs> one of the main things that's different about drawing on a computer, of course, is that you can do control Z, you know? You can just keep your finger on control Z. I didn't really control Z that much because just drawing, you can draw a black line and then draw a white line over the black line if you don't like it, which is kind of like a little alternative to control Z. It's kind of like having white out, like a little white out pen that works really, really good. That's kind of the same thing. But anyways, I had a really good time with it. I really got into it. I live streamed some of it, and uh, it all worked really good for me. One thing you do gotta get used to when you're doing digital art is saving every now and then, just pressing Control S. And then if you do digital art for a long time and you get really into the habit of pressing Control S every now and then, when you go back to physical or traditional art, tradish art, uh, if you wanna get really annoying with it, with how you say it, you, you probably, you might get used to pressing Control S every now and then, but there won't be like a Control S there to press. And, and you'll just feel empty not being able to press Control S, but you, you also won't be able to lose your art if your computer crashes. There's obviously ups and downsides to everything. It's a little bit liberating and exciting and, I don't know, it's just, there's a, there's a little burst of inspiration you get when you switch mediums, you know, whether you switch just from drawing to watercolor or drawing to just drawing on a, on a on a tablet screen it's just it's just different and you get I mean I don't think I even drew that that differently than I normally draw because I wasn't uh, taking advantage of for example all the different stuff you can do with Photoshop once again I was just here drawing on one layer uh, I, people who draw who do a lot of digital art are probably very frustrated um, with all the things I wasn't taking advantage of um, but I kind of like it this way. I do. Just kind of dabbling, keeping it simple, uh, and uh, it's fine. I'm happy with it. You can't blame me for that, right? Right? Thankfully, the back 
the back of this tablet does have like an adjustable leg or uh, like little levers you can lean the tablet back at different levels and I'm thankful for that because at first I had it up at too harsh of an angle and my wrist quickly got um it was a little bit painful and I realized that I had to lay it down very far back and I couldn't have it standing up um it was like oh, it's just bad for my wrist so you do got to be careful of uh the ergon is that right the, the right word ergonomics of your of your setup all right so be careful of that have it have it laying down very far if you have to, so it's more a more natural angle, like you're drawing on a piece of paper. And I think besides that, the only downside is just how much desk space it takes up. I mean, you might even try to put it on your lap if you want. Some people put it on huge articulating arms. I don't know. I had to, I had to like clear off a spot on my desk, but it's pretty cool. And it acts as like a third, it acts as another monitor. I don't know, it's cool. I don't really use it. I'm not used to having three monitors. I don't know. Really, I just have a cool a cool wallpaper on it over there that I switch out every now and then if I want to look at something inspiring. And then I, and then I use it for for drawing on Photoshop. Yeah. Blam. Cool. Here's here's a heart. Y'all can y'all can download the y'all can I put the I'll put the wallpaper in the in the description or or the comments. All right, y'all check it out. There's a link. There's a link to look at it and everything down below. All right. Take it easy everyone. All right. Bye-bye. Goodbye.